somebody posted a short snippet on Facebook of the late Dr. Graham preaching about Jesus. Any of you remember his world crusades? He was America's homegrown evangelist and perhaps the number one preacher televised that brought in the crowds during the 1970s. All activity and social events was put on hold to hear Dr. Billy Graham on national TV preach about Christianity and Jesus Christ. But this particular message, he says something that we now all know, but he managed to make his Jesus inclusive and he ad-libbed to please the crowd. But he was forced to speak the truth. Truth. Dr. Graham speaking truth based on fact, but subsequently pleases the crowd. Hear the applaud because he made his Jesus inclusive. And you will never be the same today. Even if you refuse Christ, you'll never be the same. Once you've faced him, once you've heard the gospel and rejected it, you can never be the same. It says when the rich young ruler rejected Christ, he turned away grieved emotionally disturbed because when you reject the claims of Christ that's a very serious thing all over the country thousands of young people are talking about Christ they can't escape him there's a Broadway play right now entitled Godspell a musical version of St. Matthew's Gospel there's a new movie right now called Brother John in which Sidney Poitier plays Jesus Christ in the form of an Alabama black man, in which Sidney Poitier plays Jesus Christ in the form of an Alabama black man, in which Sidney Poitier plays Jesus Christ in the form of an Alabama black man. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. And don't ever forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa. as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. And Jesus was not a white man like me. And Jesus was not a white man like me. And Jesus was not a white man like me. Nor was he as black as some of you. We don't know what the color of his skin, but it must have been a dark color like the people of his day because he was a man like them. Don't ever say it's a white man's religion or a black man's religion. It's a world religion. He belongs to the world. This is H.S. Yaakov, his bond servant and watchman. Shalom wa barawak ak wa akwa. Always to the esteem of the Most High, Elohim Yah.